Howdy folks, Kerbo here. Welcome back to Rolling Hills. In today's episode, I'm headed over to Mark's farm to help him out with a big lime operation. He's got to get some lime on his big field. So we've got a big old pile of lime and he's rented a front loader, which I'm bringing over from the store and we'll pick it up from there. There we go. That'll solve our problem, we hope. Beautiful. All right, nicely done. That's a cute little machine. Yeah, how's it going, Mark? Not too bad. Is that a good spot for you to load me? Yeah, I think I can make that work. Okay, go for it. Let's see if this little guy here will lift, uh, not a huge loader, but uh, looks pretty impressive with that high tip bucket on it. But let's see what it can handle. Yeah, we'll see. I'm a little rusty on my heavy operation skills here. Uh, that's all right, no pressure. Everybody's watching. Yeah. This is the whole internet. Mm hmm Yeah. All 150 of them. <laughs> Beautiful. Perfect. I hope that's going in there. I think it is. Pretty sure it is. I'm hearing sound and... It's going somewhere. Yep, it's going in there. Okay, perfect. Excellent. So, how much was that? Like, how much are you getting per load? Oh, it was, was it 27? Let me look here. It's 2,700, something like that. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So, that'll be like 4 well, or 5,000. We'll have it full. Oh, 3,000? Perfect. I just didn't quite four get it full. Scoops and she should be full. Awesome. Turn on the beacon lights. I want to see those. All right. Oh, they're nice. They're subtle. They're not like uh, complete blinding lights like the normal ones. Yeah, they're not those new LED ones that blow your eyeballs out. Yeah, that's it. But they actually look like they're just default ones under a shroud of plastic of some sort. Kind of nice. So, let's see the headlights, because I think he's got LED lights on the work lights. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, I think it's too early for this for two stars yeah. right now. So, that was... yeah, he's got the, the whole top of your cabin is one giant LED bar. So, yeah, it lit nice up the whole cab. Machine. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty <laughs> awesome for night work. <laughs> How are things coming over at your farm? Pretty well. We've got I uh, got all my corn in and shaft in the yeah. silo. Okay. And getting ready to. Um, Plant some wheat, so I'll have some straw for the cows. And I got my grass okay. planted for my big hay field. Right. So things are coming along. So you're going to need a combine soon. I will, yeah. I've got the okay. um, the name I can't pronounce. Rodel Schlosser. Oh, Rachelmash. Yeah, that one. There you go. I've not used that one before, so we'll see how it goes. What, the 301 or the, the, the small one? or? Uh, I think so. Okay, I think it was cool. the smaller one. What I liked about it is the grain head has built-in uh, trailer. Oh, so does that's it? that's pretty handy. It's got fold-up wheels, so oh, you don't have to even, mess with the header okay. trailer. Even for something that small, eh? Yeah, that's pretty nice. Cool. This bucket's a little strange. It doesn't fill till yeah, you tilt it, it does, up. Uh, yeah, it does a two-stage tilt, so you basically have one angle of down, and then if you rotate your joystick, you get to you get the second angle of tilt too. So ah, uh, okay. You can kind of tip it from the top, so, which makes it sometimes like if you don't use the high tip function on it, it's a little bit slow to unload. Yeah, I don't know if I even have that set up. Oh, okay. Are you using your mouse or? No, I'm using the joystick. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. On mine, it's the rotation angle. So the same thing that would let you, um, the same action that would let you grapple. Oh, you okay, yeah, I do have that set up. I didn't yeah, know it had that function. That'd be nice to know, Mark, about four loads ago. <laughs> Just <You> know, saying. <laughs> it's, like the old, it's like the old joke, right? How do you keep an idiot in suspense? Right. <laughs> tell me, tell me. Hey, look at that! <laughs> look at how much quicker that is! Hey, it's got a high tip function, Mark. Look at that. Did you notice that? That's yeah. cool. 
I didn't All see right, that in the brochure. Looks full to me. <laughs> that looks pretty full, so I'm just gonna cross the road and shoot this thing on there. All right, I'll get out of your way. Should be in here in no time at all. So this thing's got the extended arm on it, and oh yeah, ditches. So Carbo, you were saying that really, I mean, in your neck of the woods, that like, people just find sort of a shallow part in the ditch and they use that to get across. Yeah, a lot of the times there won't be like a built-up road per se it'll oh, just be okay. hey we'll throw some dirt in here and the water can still right. go over it but it's shallow enough we can drive the tractor through kind of thing right all right and i'm going to treat the viewers to a reveal mm -hmm. of our little secret uh oh Every, everybody listen ready are you ready oh it didn't do it what happened there and oh. no it, it's well it's locked but i didn't get the sound yeah. That's funny. I got the sound on my end. You need to quit oh, breaking man. stuff. Uh oh. My fault again. <laughs> I'm just going to blame everything on that. Whatever you put on that broke my barn. <laughs> That's my go to. Pack, you think the texture pack bro broke yeah, the sound? Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Also, be that I have the volume a little bit low. Let me see if I can. Uh, let's see if, I, if it worked in third person. Nope. Okay. Close enough. So I'm going to start doing a big circle around. This is a huge field. I did not realize how much land I had here. I was uh, cultivating the field behind the barn, thinking, oh yeah, that'll make a nice grass field. Got about halfway through it, and I said, how am I going to get this much grass into sheep? So yeah, I, I kind of read into that on my big field. I didn't realize how big it was till I yeah. started working it. That's it. And even this one, I mean, to cultivate this one took me the better part of an hour and a half. And I have a 12-meter cultivator on the back of this thing, so... Is I don't even see bad? where you went. I I'm see all lime. Down by the river. Yeah, oh, okay. I'm all the way down by the river. I see a lime trail heading off into the <laughs> downhill distance. <laughs> it's easy to lose people. The one thing I do love about this map is it's got those all of those little runoff areas. Yeah. That um, you know, like there's one here at the bottom of my field where you don't plow this area up because it's a bit of a ditch and it's there to drain the water from the center of the field. So the water comes washing down that, uh, washing down that hill, and when it gets to this little bit of uh, of ditch here, the grass and the ditch they catch the the topsoil, and I assume that every now and then they kind of clear out those ditches and they bring all the all the topsoil back into the fields, right? Like yeah, at least in my area though, them. It, it it it'll erode pretty quick, and you have to move yeah. that around. Yeah, because they have the they have those big uh, field sculpting belly belly loaders. That, yeah, the uh, scrapers. Yeah, the scrapers. Now, I've seen those mostly used on like irrigation fields and stuff like that, where they need to level the whole land to be able to uh, to irrigate, like on cotton fields and stuff like that. But I watched uh, I watched a video of them also moving dirt around just a normal hilly field like this. I gotta tell you though, I mean, this map has really given me a taste for the American farming thing. I really like it. Like, I'm just standing here looking at the sun. It's got all the different hills, you know, gently yeah. rolling hills, different places. Oh, yeah. and Look, just got a really good feel to the it. The haze, the haze back there, and uh, it's beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. The landscaping detail really makes a map pop for me. Like, that's what I really enjoyed about No Creek. It was just a little yeah. small one farm map but it was yeah. perfect i mean they had yeah. little ditches along the roads and little washouts and all that you stuff see, this map this map is just incredibly well conceived for a multiplayer i find that you've got so many little farms staggered around it everybody gets mm -hmm. two or three fields and you can help each other out and not everybody needs to buy all the equipment you can kind of share stuff and uh yeah, it's, it, it's like for, I can imagine on a multiplayer, like cooperative kind of multiplayer, this would be a real joy. It'd be a lot of fun to play it that way. 
The other one I'm super excited about right now is I saw the early beta for the Wisconsin map, and that's another one that he's got six or seven farms on there. And yep. it's much smaller feeling. It's a, it's a lot more of a dairy operation kind of get up. But it's, uh, but it's Wisconsin, so it would be. And it feels like a real place. It does. It really feels real. I took a quick drive around there today on that map. Yeah. It looked, looked really nice. I'm, I'm extremely... Uh, I'm hopeful that, it, uh, that nobody rushes him and that he ends up in a situation where, you know, people are starting to pressure him for the, uh, for the thing to be done so that he can really get it done because I, I would wait six months to be able to play that one properly. Yeah. With seasons. With seasons. Oh, my God. Wisconsin and snow with seasons would be amazing. Yep. All right. How's that for you? That'll work. Perfect. All right. Now, what happened to my... Well, it sort of worked. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Nice. All righty then. Beautiful. There we go. I didn't have my angle right. Uh, okay. I had my bucket too far in the air. I didn't notice it wasn't the right angle. Right. I'll have to uh, put that Volvo side by side with the in-game. Uh... Is it a New Holland they have in-game? I think we've got, yeah, New Holland and yeah. the JCB, I think, is on the mod hub. That's the one, yeah. So it's, uh, it, I'm curious to see just how much smaller that one is. I like, I like the size of this one. It feels more like something you'd have yeah. on, a farm, on a smaller farm. That's it. When we get seasons, that's going to be a nice machine to do some uh, snow clearing with. Yeah. Oh, yeah, one more thing. I, uh, I did manage to move in completely. I got my flag in. So uh, hopefully that doesn't talk because of the trigger too many people. I think by now they know I'm the Canadian guy down the road. Probably figured that out. Place like this, I'm, I'm assuming that went around real fast. Yeah, small towns, they, they notice who's new and... <laughs> They'll have you figured out within the first three or four hours. Beautiful. So are you getting the horses after the cows, or when are you chipping the horses up from the other farm? Yeah, it'll probably be after the cows. I'm, I'm thinking uh, I'll probably just do something small for the two horses. Right. So I'll probably just build something in in the little corner of the farm there. Okay. Not go big on the horses. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to that because, uh, you know, it's going to be a lot of fun riding horses around the map, so. Yeah. My kids had a great time with the horses, so I need to get those back on the farm. <laughs> were you bringing them in to, uh, to do the riding, to do the exercising? Oh, yeah. They, they were having a blast. Yeah, you should see my old. screenshot folder from when the kids were playing with the horses. <laughs> Apparently, awesome. if you get your horse stuck in a tree, a chainsaw comes in handy. Oh, okay. Found a tree cut down next to the house. Right. So we had a little discussion about farm property. Right. <laughs> <laughs> about getting the proper permits before you start packing down stuff. Yeah. Yeah, they, they had a great time. That's awesome. Of course, they named the horses. That's why they're named Cheeto and Nightmare. Right. <laughs> nice traditional horse names. Right. Very, very stereotypical. <laughs> it's Joe and what? Nightmare? Cheeto. Like the snack. Cheeto. Okay, Cheeto. Yeah, do you have Cheetos in Canada? Yeah, we have Cheetos. Yeah. All right. And then Nightmare. Chester, Chester Cheeto. And yeah, Nightmare. Chester Cheeto. It's one of them foreign right, countries. I don't know if you had Cheetos up there. Yeah, well, that's one of the things we do have. 
can't manage Sonic hot dogs, but we do have Cheetos. Yeah. Well, you're not missing much with no, no. Sonic hot dogs. Are you full, or you I need another know. load? I think I think I'm full. Okay. I think that's all she's gonna take. We just so back up out of your way here. Yeah, I'm gonna back up out of the yard. See if I can take this next level. I believe. Yeah. 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 Look at that. Yeah. Professional. Yeah, yeah, and then he blows it at the end. <laughs> it's like the rug weavers. You can't make it perfect. You have to put a flaw That's in. right. You have to put one flaw in just so people can tell it's made by hand. Exactly. All right. Open her up. All right. Well, on this beautiful sunset evening... I'm going to say good night to folks. Thank you so much for helping out again, Kerbo. We got no a little problem. Bit more to go, but, uh, you know, people don't need us need to watch us go back and forth, up and down this field too often. Absolutely gorgeous sun in, sunset here on, uh, we, we're calling it Sperry County, but it's actually a uh, rolling hills map from uh, DR Modding. I really recommend you take a little drive around it few issues with the map it's uh it's not exactly perfect but that's never stopped me from uh, playing with any mod and uh there's things like the uh, the prices don't show up in the in the store did, how did you end up fixing that it was just an xml fix uh yeah the the cell points on the map are set to not appear on the pda for some okay. reason so yeah it's just an xml you got a set appears on PDA to true for the three cell phones. Ah, uh, there you go. There you go. So get yourself into the XML and set those to true, and you will have yourselves an absolutely gorgeous American-style farm, farming map that, I mean, I can't recommend enough. I'm having an absolute ball with this. Having Kerbo on here is a really nice bonus, but uh, really, I wanted to go and experience a Midwestern farming map and i didn't get to do it very much in 17 because a lot of the stuff that was coming out was beautiful but it just it didn't speak to me for whatever reason the rolling hills and sort of the desolateness of this one where there's no real town you're really in the middle of nowhere and you're surrounded by other farmers this one spoke to me so highly recommend uh you ran into a problem too with a field that you had to double double harvest yeah, one of my fields, sometimes the corn stalks just randomly would stay and you'd have to go back over it again. It was kind of okay. raggedy looking. Field 38, I don't know if it's just that field. That's the only one I've seen it on. Okay, yeah. It's one of the outlying fields, so it's possible that it just didn't... Uh, yeah, there's a whole list of issues like that that are yeah. uh, he's aware of, the author's aware of. and. Uh, okay, perfect. And he's still working on it, right? This is not a map that he just... Yeah, this was a beta he threw out for harder. Christmas. Yeah, he just threw it out That's for awesome. Christmas and... He knows there's issues. He's getting fixed. So a lot of really gorgeous maps getting fixed and coming out this year on the American side of modding. Um, I threw it out on the first episode that I was looking for American mods, and I have been more than well rewarded with people sending me hundreds of links, and it's been amazing. Thank you guys so much. If you see anything out there, like, you know, a more appropriate uh, solid fertilizer shooter or whatever, the missions are starting to show up on the fields. I think tomorrow morning I'm going to get up and I'm going to go and do some fertilizing with my sprayer because I'm still waiting for the weeds to come back. So I might as well make that thing earn something. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be out here. All right. You guys have a great evening and we will talk to you tomorrow. Good night, Kerbo. Good night, Kerbo.